In this lesson, we will learn how to calculate centripetal force. The question reads, a certain car driven in a circle can exert a maximum side force of 0.95 g. For the first part, we are expected to find out the maximum speed for this car driven in a circle of 100 meter radius. Let me give you an illustration of what's happening, and I'll start with a circle. And let's assume that the car at any given time, let's say at this particular time is right here. The centripetal acceleration is pointed in the direction towards the circle center. And it's always perpendicular to the velocity. So as you can see, the acceleration points radially inwards. Given what we're told in the question, to find out what this acceleration is, we take the side force of 0.95 and multiply to the acceleration due to gravity being 9.8. So this should give us A sub RAD. Or in some textbooks, they simply write down A sub C in relation to centripetal acceleration. So we have 0 0.95 times 9.8. This gives us an acceleration of 9.31 meters per second squared. And since they're asking for the maximum speed, take a look at this formula. This formula has acceleration speed raised to the power of 2 over r. So substituting what we know, we just found out a sub rad. We have 9.31 is equal to v to the power of 2 over the radius given in the question as 160 meters. So let's solve for v. We can multiply both sides by 160. And after we find the product of what you see on the left side, we square root both sides. So first of all, let me write this down. 1,489 decimal 6 is equal to v to the power of 2. Now we square root both sides to find out the velocity. The velocity is 38.59. Let's round this to 38.6. We're not taking into account significant figures here. And that is meters per second. In part B, we're asked, what is the centripetal force produced by the tires acting on the pavement for the force if the car is 1,200 kilograms of mass? We'll be using Newton's second law, F is equal to MA. The mass is given as 1,200, and the acceleration, the one going towards the center of the circle, we found to be 9.31. So multiplying these two numbers out, 1,200 times 9.31 gives us a force of 11,172. And that's in Newtons. Now just before we conclude, keep in mind that the velocity we found in part A of 38.6, any speed greater than that means that the car would not maintain that circular motion and would slide out. So there you have it. That is how to calculate centripetal force.